Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son through the name of the Holy Spirit. It's called Halayim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Peace and blessings unto the children of God. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, Barak, Thumb. To all you listeners who may tune into this. This is Brother Yitzhak Zakaq coming back at you with another lesson through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. All praises and honor is due. Adam Ratazah. And um, I want to entitle this. Um, there's a sinner who have good success in evil things. And um, based upon Sirach 29, I'm just going to get a couple precepts. Lord willing, Miss Edify, I'm going to jump right into it. This is uh, Sirach chapter 20 and starting at verse 9. There is a sinner that have good success in evil things. And there is a gain that turn up to a loss. So there's a sinner that has good success in evil things. And this is a trip a lot of people up because you can see the wicked prospering. You know what I'm saying? So you'll be like, oh, okay, this will make you think that God is with the wicked. You know what I'm saying? Or that God uh, endorses the wicked or or God has no problem with the wickedness that the wicked are doing. You know, but this is not to be mistaken. You know what I'm saying? Because you can have good success in evil things because there's a gain that turns to a loss. You know, sometimes people accumulate things or a lot of times when people accumulate things, they accumulate things for their own destruction. Matter of fact, what was that? Uh, Proverbs Salafia. Like okay, Khan huh? Salafia. So like this Proverbs 11 and 18 says, The wicked work of a deceitful work, but to him that sow of righteousness shall be a sure reward. You know what I'm saying? So, sowing righteousness is the only way you can get a sure a sure for reward or something that's for certain you know um you can get um you know if, if, if you're if you're sowing in wickedness or an, in unrighteousness your your reward is not going to be sure it's not going to be certain you know it um it, it could it could at any moment be stripped away or anything can happen from the wickedness that you could do doing or you know uh the effects from the wickedness that you're doing is gonna you know come come back to bite you you know, so the only way to have that, that sure reward um, is is, uh, is 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 to pursue uh, good goodly things and righteous things. Um, verse nineteen: As righteousness tendeth to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death. Right. So you can, there there's a sinner that has good success in evil things. Now, if you're if you're pursuing evil, if you're continually pursuing evil, you're gonna be you're you're, you're continually pursuing this to your own death. So for so, it, you may be sustaining. Matter of fact, let me go real quick. I'm gonna jump right back. I'm gonna jump right back. I just wanna get a quick one. Con, this uh, Psalm chapter fifty-five and verse twenty-two. It says, cast thy burden upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Right. So you you could uh you know continually pursue evil. You know what I'm saying? And then eventually um the evil that you continually pursue um you know leads up or, or culminates until your death or to um harm coming unto you. You know, until your 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 well being being in jeopardy. You know, so you could try to continue. Uh, you could uh, have good success in evil things, but they don't mean that these things can sustain you. You know, um, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. If you uh, he, you might not have immediate uh, reward within righteousness, but it's sustaining though. It's just, it, it's sustaining because um, you have something laid up in your your storehouse for a time of affliction. You know what I'm saying? So, um, when 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 the, when the situation does arise, you you won't just be all the way tapped out. You know what I'm saying? You won't be all the way done for. You know, because you don't put all your energy into in, 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 into wickedness, and now whatever reward you got for from the energy you put into wickedness is what you got. You know what I'm saying? Versus uh, putting all your energy into righteousness. And, you know, you may have not gotten nothing immediately from it, but on the back end, you get some, get some for it. Matter of fact, let me get a preset to back up that point. I'm, I don't want to get too far off. Um, so like you, let's get one more point. It 
Kickstarter endeavor. This to Rock 29 and 11 says, Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. Shut up alms in thy storehouses, and it shall deliver thee from all affliction. Right? So if you got them alms, you know, which is uh, righteousness, alms is, is, is like unto that's a righteousness. I believe we even talk about that in the book of Tobit, you know, which uh, um, we, we, we know that alms, charity, love, you know, is one of the biggest uh it is the biggest form and facet of, of righteousness you know so we shut up these arms in our, our storehouses how is the number one way that we show that we love you know what i'm saying well though we be poor we make our i mean though we we be we, be rich through the glory and the majesty of yahweh where yahweh shy you know we make ourselves poor so others can be partakers um of the glorious liberty that comes through yahweh shah you know what i'm saying so um this is how you lay up those 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 arms in your store your storehouses is by uh, ultimately um, you know uh, exhibiting righteousness and, and uh, ultimately uh, waiting uh, ha having success in servitude you know what I'm saying and uh, getting reward from overall servitude and from those whom you have been serving uh, being cultivated in righteousness you know. Um, so this is where our success is supposed to come from. And this is where, uh, you know, um, this, this is where our prosperity is supposed to come from through uh, the cultivation of, uh, of, of, of uh, the, uh, the Heavenly Father's creations, you know. Um, and and this, is, this, is, this is the good success we're supposed to have. And ultimately, if we continue in this way, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is going to uh, be pleased when they say we're going to be deemed as uh, his precious fruit, you know, so and we're, we're going to be his success story, you, you know, let's go back to Proverbs 11. This is uh, back in Proverbs 11 and 19, as righteousness tendeth to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death, right? So continually pursuing evil is going to lead you to your own to, to your own death but you can have good success in evil things for the moment you know matter of fact this job chapter 20 and verse 4 it says knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, "Where is he?" So basically, the point is, this is this has been, um, this has been something that's been known for you know the beginning of time, so to speak. Or uh, this is something that's been, um, been. Like this is this is not this is something that's been common, you know that uh, the wicked would triumph, 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 you know, or the the hypocrite can have joy, but it's it's been it's been known that any hypocrite or anybody operating in wickedness, their their prosperity is not gonna last forever, you know what I'm saying? Their uh their success is not gonna last forever, you know what I'm saying? Eventually it stops, eventually it comes down, you know. So this is why we're not supposed to uh spread ourselves with those who are uh having success in evil things you know because you can see somebody man they having good success doing evil you know what i'm saying they, they're having good success in this wickedness they're 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 uh you know they're, they're getting prosperity from the evil that they're doing you know what i'm saying so the lord must be with them or the lord must uh have no problem with the things that they're doing because they're prospering but you can't equate uh uh, matter of fact, let me get one quick one. First Timothy. Okay, I'm going to just get this uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 6. It says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. So we can't, and, and, and we, we read in 
Surat 29 about how there's a, it's a uh, so like there's a sinner who has success in evil things and there's a loss that's turned into a gain. You know what I'm saying? So you can lose by you can you can lose uh by ultimately um uh, you know being virtuous, merciful, merciful, long suffering or meek to someone. You could lose at that moment, so to speak. You know, but there, that that losses turns to gain. Why? Because you laid up arms in your storehouses. You know what I'm saying? Then also, if you you can gain material abundance through wickedness. You know what I'm saying? But uh, eventually, it's stripped away from you because of the wickedness or the things that you've done to attain it. Like I tell you about in Sirach, the tenth chapter, because of uh, injury and wickedness and uh, riches gotten by deceit. You know, it uh, is is translated. That's what causes translation to come when you have uh, riches or prosperity that came through evil or deceit. You know what I'm saying? So we can't equate gain with godliness. That's not, that's not, uh, those things don't mix and match, so to speak. You know, so we can't equate uh, godliness with uh, gain. That's not, that's not the, uh, that's not the same thing, okay? It's not the same thing. Well, it is a game, but it's not material game. Okay, it's not the game that the the, the world perceives as game. You know, it's game because you you you're able to uh, be able to take on the attributes and the qualities that the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son possesses. You know, so let's go back to Psalms 37. This Psalm chapter 37 and verse 7 it says, Rest in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Right, so, oh, let me read verse, uh, I'll read 8 and 9. It says, Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. What, what would make you fret yourself? To want to do evil, you know, what to, to what will make you be inwardly agitated or inwardly uh, have provocation to want to uh, to to want to sin or do evil? It's, it's because you see those who are doing sin and evil having prosperity. You know what I'm saying? So it'll make you want to partake in it because it, it's got to be the right way to go because it's 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 gain coming from that. But just like we just read in First Timothy six and six. We can't equate godliness with gain. Also, there's a gain that turn that turns into a loss. So, um, you know, you might acquire whatever you acquire from doing the wickedness or the evil and the sin, but um, eventually you, it's going to be taken away and stripped from you because you've been doing wickedness. You know, so that that gain is going to be turned to a loss. But there's a loss that's that's turned into a gain as well. There's a loss that's turned into a gain as well by ultimately losing a battle or ultimately. Uh, being looked at in a certain type of light by people or, you know, being misused or mistreated or persecuted, that's a loss, but ultimately it's going to be a gain in the end. Why? Because you laid up arms in thy storehouses and you was also, you were also abiding in the commandments of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, you know. Um, so it says, cease from, cease from anger and forsake wrath, fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, shall inherit the earth. Right? So there it go right there. Evildoers are going to be cut off. Those that wait upon the Lord are going to inherit the earth. So you have to wait for the loss to be turned into a gain. You know what I'm saying? You lose because right now you can't prosper in this world. You know, you have to abstain. You know, you have to abstain from fleshly lust which war against the soul. You have to abstain from carnality, although we're a carnal soul under sin. You know, so this is this is the time where we're losing because um, we can't go after the things that our flesh desires. We can't go after the things that uh, you know uh, our our mind and our hearts lust after, so to speak. You know, or we're not supposed to. We're supposed to battle to keep ourselves away from these things. You know, so um, with that being said, that's that. We're, we're faced with loss continually. You know, well, Jesus took the loss of all things. What's the slucky? Like yep. Huh. Call all your best my shot. This Philippians 3 and 8. Yet yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Amashiach, Yahweh Shah, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. 
and do count them but dung that I may win Hamashiach, right? Because if you uh if 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 you want to triumph in wickedness then you're gonna uh, your your memory or you're gonna be uh, uh you're gonna perish as if you were dumb so we're supposed to count um the loss of everything you know our pride our uh so to speak manhood in this world our reputation within this world so to speak or even our own personal principles and traditions and rudiments that you know we've rooted within ourselves to um you know base our morality upon we have to we have to make these things a loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shah Mashiach you know so we do take loss you know because why we have to put off the flesh we have to put away ourselves and our desires to um ultimately uh follow after the love of Mashiach I tell you about that in uh first Corinthians the fifth chapter about how the love of Mashiach constrains us you know so you know we have suffered loss we, we 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 do suffer loss but that loss is really a gain why because we gain the knowledge of mashiach yahweh shai which is the root of immortality you know what i'm saying so it don't it, it's no it's nothing more successful than um having uh immortality uh be it introduced unto you you know so let's go back real quick uh psalm 37 what was that psalm 37 9 i think it was Okay, I'll read it again. It says, For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, they shall inherit the earth. Right, so the day that wait upon the Lord, you know, shall inherit the earth. And right then, so being long suffering and patient, waiting, that's a loss. You know, you lose time, you lose um, you lose energy, you know what I'm saying? You may lose uh uh sleep, you may lose um uh, t uh, you may lose certain things that you might uh like to do, you know. You, may, you might lose um certain type of people, you know. what I'm saying in your in, in your life when you when you when you're waiting, when you're being patient, you know. what I'm saying you can lose a lot of things from waiting and being patient. But guess what? They're gonna those who wait and be patient, they they lose whatever they lose from waiting. They're gonna inherit something from waiting, you know. So. There's a gain that is turned to, in, into loss, and there is a, a, a righteousness that brings forth a sure reward. Like we read in Proverbs, um, the 11th chapter. Now, I want to get one more. Oh, okay, let's get one. Revelation 6. Okay, this is Galatians. We'll start at 8. This Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8. It says, For he that sold to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that sold to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. There it go right there. You know what I'm saying? So you uh, when you when you're sowing in the flesh, you know you can get success from sowing in the flesh, but eventually is is gonna lead to corruption, you know, because uh a gift destroy up the heart. You know what I'm saying? So there's a gift that can um um, destroy your 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 moral fabric. You know, it's 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 a gift that can destroy your ethics. It's a gift that can destroy your values. You know, and 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 that's what com comes forth from sowing into the flesh. So like you, with me. Toasty out here. It's a lot of man with me. It's a lot here. Okay, so this. Okay, this uh, Galatians chapter six and verse eight again. It says, "For he that sowed to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption." But he that sowed to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. So he that sowed to the flesh, you, you you're gonna you're gonna be corrupted. Well, um, when you go into bribery or you go into avarice or you go into the love of money or you go into greediness, 
you know what I'm saying? It, it all goes into corruption. So bribery, um, corruption, you know what I'm saying? You could be bribed um, through multiple things. You know what I'm saying? You, you could be bribed or persuaded or convinced to go against the ways and the knowledge of the Lord, whatever your flesh desires. You know, so uh, when it says, uh, he that sowed to the flesh or the flesh reap corruption, you know, you're eventually whatever you're desiring, the, the desire is going to kill you. <laughs> you know, the desire is going to corrupt you. The desire is going to take away, um, um, take away the, the, the type of moral compass uh, that, that you're supposed to have as a servant of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. It says, but he that sowed to the spiritual of the spirit reap life everlasting. So it's not an instant reward. You know what I'm saying? But that's a sure reward, you know, and this is an ultimate gain, you know what I'm saying? But ultimately sowing into the spirit is a loss because most of the thing, when you're laboring within the spirit, you have to give more than you're receiving, you know what I'm saying? So it's a loss. You're not, you're giving away something, but you're not actually getting nothing back from it. But eventually it'll lead until you get the, getting something back from it um, over time, you know, um, it says, Verse 9, let us not be wary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Right? So you have to continually sow into uh, goodly things to be able to uh, uh, have the benefit from the goodly things. You know, uh, you have to continue in, 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 in righteousness. You have to continue in, in, in goodness and in, in peace and justice in order to uh, reap these uh, certain type of benefits back, you know, now you you can you can pursue evil and you know you can get good success from just one one evil move can get you real good success or one a few evil moves can set you up to be to have good success in this life for you know a prolonged period of time you know but to be able to have good success within life which comes from Yahweh way Yahweh Shah you have to continually consistently abound and grow within uh, 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 spiritual labors, you know. So this, so this is the difference between having good success in evil things and having good success in good things. You know, uh, it's it's a consistent process. Um, it's a consistent process to be able to have good success in good things, but it's a it's a quick process to have good success in evil things. You know what I'm saying? So this is why. Um, you know, a lot of people who are who are sowing uh, to have good success and good things, they're easily uh, swayed or, you know, uh, persuaded to want to have success in evil things because they're not seeing the benefit from those goodly things immediately. You know, let's go back to Sirach. But the re Yahweh Shemasha told, told us to be careful about this because uh, this, this, uh, this, this, don't, don't let that sway you. Don't, don't let it trick you to think like, oh, okay, I can go over there and get some real quick because the minute you go over there and try to do some, you're going to be defiled. You're going to be done for, you know, or, you know, eventually that stuff will swallow you up, you know. Um, let's go back to Sirach 29. This is Sirach 29 again. It says, there is a sinner that have good success in evil things, but there is a gain that turneth to loss, okay? There is a gift that shall not profit thee. And there is a gift whose recompense is double. So there's a gift that shall not profit thee. You know what I'm saying? It might be real nice and real fleshy, but it's not beneficial for you. It might be real goodly, real something that you desire, something that you want, something that you uh, aspire to have, but it's not no, it's not beneficial for you. It's not beneficial for you, you know? And it says, and there's a gift whose recompense is double. You know what I'm saying? So you might get it, you know what I'm saying? But now, uh, now, it, it wasn't even worth having because just it's, just it's just like getting some nice box that's diseased. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you got that nice box, but now you got to live with this disease. You know what I'm saying? It says, verse 11, there's an abasement because of, a, of glory, and there is that lift of up his head from a low estate. So there's an abasement because of glory, and there is is that lift of up his head from a low estate. So glory that you 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 can have a loss but still get glory from having a loss and this is really what uh this is really how you get game matter of fact let's go to quick one i'm gonna just get a couple more and i'm gonna wrap it
this Matthew chapter 23 and verse 12, it says, And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. There it go right there. So whoever is abased is going to be exalted anyway. So there, to, in order to get exalted, in order to get gain, in order to get glory, you have to be abased first. You have to uh, lose some things first. You have to be humiliated first. Well, this is how Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah draws nigh unto him. N draw nigh, draws nigh unto us. It's by us humbling ourselves and us abasing ourselves. And ultimately, we're doing this because uh, uh, we want to glorify Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And this is how we are glorified because we're taking on the attributes of godliness. You know? So this is what makes us glorify, and this is how we glorify Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is by basing ourselves, you know. Um, I said I want to get a couple more. Um, okay, we'll just get this Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10, verse 33. Okay, Khan, yep. Okay, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 34. It says, For ye had compassion of me and my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and enduring substance. It's like it. Verse 35, it says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. You know what I'm saying? So having confidence, hope, faith, you know what I'm saying? These things might be something that's a loss because you can't actually immediately get something for hoping and believing something is going to happen you know what i'm saying it's not like you're going to win the lottery just because you believe you're going to win the lottery you know what i'm saying you just uh you just have confidence to believe okay i'm, I'm gonna do it you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be okay with it you know what i'm saying that's why you continually pursue it because you have that hope and that confidence that faith to believe that you're going to win it you know so uh it says cast not uh, theref uh, therefore your confidence away which have great recompense of reward which have great recompense of reward because eventually you continue to have that hope that faith and that confidence one day you could win that motherfucker you could win a lottery one day you know what i'm saying so we're not supposed to cast away that confidence that confidence ha uh, has a great recompense of reward you know what i'm saying meaning that uh ultimately you have um could uh uh, lead us to them green pastures, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? He could uh, give us uh, that eternal life. You know what I'm saying? He could, uh, we, we could be a part of that vine that our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, is a part of. You know? Um, it says, Cast not away that, therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward, for you have need of patience that after you have done the will of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, ye might receive the promise. So there you go, right there. We have to. Um, we have to have that patience. We have to have that hope. We have to have that faith. We have to have that confidence that uh, uh, doing the will of, of of God, you know what I'm saying, is um, is everything. And we're supposed to find success and we're supposed to find prosperity within doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. That's the whole point. Finding prosperity and doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Finding success within doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. There it go right there. You know, that's the whole point, you know, being the children of the promise, the children of the seed, you know, rep having the faith of Abraham, you know. Um, I'm going to just get one more. James 5. James 5, 7. Yep. This James chapter 5, verse 7 says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shad. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. So yeah, how about Shema he's uh he's he still hasn't had great success yet in uh in the good things that he's been doing, you know, such as uh offering grace, love, peace, you know, say being meek, you know, say uh ultimately uh being long suffering, forbearing with us, you know what I'm saying? Uh uh giving us good for the evil that we've given him the heavenly father has not fully uh received good success from all the labors that he's been putting in you know what i'm saying so we have to uh ultimately think about this we have to think about it in the same type of fashion we're we're, we're not going to get good success ultimately until uh the, the the precious fruit of the earth has uh been redeemed you know what i'm saying that's what we're laboring for for the precious fruit of the earth to receive redemption 
You know what I'm saying? This is why we're supposed to continually, um, this is why we're not supposed to get weary and well doing because we know that eventually uh, this is gonna lead to, uh, this, this is gonna lead to um, the precious fruit of the earth receiving redemption, you know? Um, I'll read verse 8. It says, Be ye also patient, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai draw off nigh. So the coming of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai draws nigh. So we are to be patient and establish our minds um, within uh, labor, labors and servitude unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because we know eventually Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to uh, is, is, is going to change these circumstances and uh, uh, make a world wherein dwelleth righteousness and peace. But it starts within us. Um, making this righteousness and peace within ourselves and, and being settled in it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and being settled in it, you know, being uh, rooted and uh, having fortitude within, um, you know, this 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 order, this righteousness and, and, and peace that we want this new world to be predicated upon, you know? That's what it's going to start. That's what it's going to start upon. And, you know, ha having a happiness to be able to continue in goodly things, you know? Um... I guess I can read some of this uh, real good. Job 21. Let me see. I started seven. Just jump around a little bit in here. Let me get this chapter. This is uh Job chapter 21 and verse 7. It says, Wherefore do the, the wicked live become old? Ye are mighty in power. Their seed is established in their sight with them, and their offspring before their eyes. Their houses are safe from fear, neither is the rod of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah upon them. Their bull gendereth and faileth not, their cow calveth and casteth not off her calf. So, you know, a lot of these things is what people look at, you know what I'm saying, uh, for sinners and, and wicked uh, being, uh, having good success because, you know, their houses are safe from fear, you know what I'm saying, or their offspring is right before their eyes, or, you know, the rod of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is not upon them, or, you know, their, 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 uh, cattle or, you know, whatever materials is, uh, continuing to have growth, you know, it says they send forth their little ones like a flock and their little children dance. So, you know what I'm saying? They, that their children have happiness and have joy, you know, um, they take the timbre and harp and rejoice at the sound of the organ. So they're, they're basically in mirth. They're, 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 they're in prosperity. They spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. Therefore, they say unto Yahweh Bashim HaShah, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. And see, this is what makes people not desire the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's ways is because of wealth and prosperity. You know what I'm saying? Because of wealth and prosperity, it separates you away from the knowledge, the, the knowledge, it, it separates you from the knowledge of the way of Yahweh Bashim HaShah, which the knowledge of the way of Yahweh Bashim HaShah is the only, where, or only place where in uh, life lies, you know, the only path wherein there is no death, you know. So this is why it's so important to continually uh, labor within uh, goodly things because uh, of, 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 of event it's going to lead you into a path where there is no death or no harm or no pain that can come unto you, you know. So nothing is, is, is gain is not truly gain unless it can't be polluted, unless you can't it can't be taken away from you unless you can't be harmed. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is what Yahweh Bashim HaShah wants us to understand that gain and good success is not, it only comes through um, something that's everlasting, something that's enduring and durable, you know? It says, uh, verse 15, what is the Almighty that we should serve him and what profit shall we have if we pray unto him? This is what people feel like is because it's like when you're serving Yahweh Bashim HaShah, you're not getting no material abundance. You're not getting no physical prosperity from it so what's the point of doing it you know what i'm saying well the point of doing this is because you gain spiritual aspects that uh can be instilled within you that's going to be able to uh, uh endure forever and also these aspects that you put within yourself can be instilled in others and this it, it, and this spirit can grow within the earth and ultimately uh it can, it can battle against uh the flesh you know because that's what the war is everybody's so worried about russia and Ukraine, you know what I'm saying? The war, the war is in your members. The war, the war is the members. The spirit against the flesh. Don't, don't forget that. That's what the war is. It says,
so so the more the more people who are operating and laboring in righteousness the more and more that you can destroy the works of evil it says it's uh selecting verse 16 lo their good is not in their hand the counsel of the wicked is far from me how oft is the candle candle of the wicked put out and how oft come of their destruction upon them yahweh shemashah distributive sorrows in his anger so how often does the wicked get destroyed that's that's a common thing you know what i'm saying so how, how 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 often do sinners get taken down that's a that's a common thing you know what i'm saying so it's, we should never be fretting ourselves with sinners or evildoers or or those who are doing wicked wicked or considering doing wickedness or feeling like oh we've chosen the wrong side because we're we're, we're, we're pursuing righteousness you know Yahweh Shemashah distributes his sorrows and angers upon the wicked, you know. And ultimately, he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death. So the wicked really ultimately going after evil things is really just going to lead to their death. <laughs> you know, it's going to lead to their death. It says, uh, Okay, I will keep reading. It says, For what pleasure have he in the house after him when the number of his months is cut off in the mist? I ain't read. I'm gonna just, yeah, I'll just keep reading. Selecty. Like shall any teach Yahabashimashah? Shall any teach Yahabashimashah knowledge, seeing he judge of those that are high? <laughs> One dieth in. So, so ultimately, operating after the knowledge of Yahabashimashah is your best bet. You know what I'm saying? Because he's judging those who feel like they don't have to operate under the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, and all those who feel like they don't have to operate under the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, what eventually ends up happening to them they end up getting cut off and they wither away and they perish as if they were dumb you know it says one dieth in his full strength being holy at ease and quiet his breasts are full of milk and his bones are moistened with marrow and another dieth in the bitterness of his soul and never eateth with pleasure they shall lie down. I like in the dust and the worms shall cover them. Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which they wrongfully imagine against me. For ye say, where is the house of the prince and where are the dwelling places of the wicked? Have ye not asked them that go by the way and do you not know their tokens that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction? They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath here go right there so the wicked are reserved unto the day of destruction they shall be brought forth into the day of wrath you know what i'm saying so that's what happened you know the expectation of the wicked is wrath you know the desire of the righteous is only good you know what i'm saying so eventually people who are doing evil know they're gonna have to pay you know what i'm saying within their hearts to the hearts eventually they know they're gonna have to pay for it you know what i'm saying they know they're gonna have to pay for it and ultimately doing all these things to pay for it you know so we're not supposed to fret ourselves with evil doers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're not supposed to be fret our. We're supposed. We're not supposed to fret ourselves in any wise to do any evil. You know what I'm saying? And um, ultimately, uh, we're supposed to uh, take pleasure within uh, sowing into righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we're not supposed to get weary within sowing into righteousness because there's a sure reward within sowing into righteousness, and there's not a sure reward this sowing into evil things you know but uh lord willing this was edifying i want to give our praises to yahweh by shem yahweh shah by shem rakakwadash peace and blessings unto the children of god yahweh by shem rakakwadash barakatham that's how you listeners may have tuned into this shalom